Hello Libra, and welcome to your True Love Tarot reading for the month of August. This message will have an intention for this month. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here. I offer monthly, weekly, and weekend guidance messages on a consistent basis, and then I fill in the space with the rest of the spreads, true love. Um, I try to run polls on my community tab, so if you do subscribe, you will be able to put your input into those as well, those polls that I run, um, to see what spreads I should do next, okay? Also, really quick, the messages are general. They're not going to resonate with everyone, so feel free to check other signs within your birth chart. Um, my messages are pretty direct, so if the title resonates, then there will be something within this message that will resonate for you. So, let's get started. The overall energy that's coming out is the Six of Wands. This card symbolizes feeling rewarded, celebration, being recognized for your achievements. Okay, I feel like the reason why this card is coming up as the overall energy is because I feel like you're finally being rewarded for your efforts. You're finally getting acknowledgement for the work that you've put in to yourself, maybe even to a partnership, friendship, relationship. So let's see, we have the Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, and Page of Wands. So for you, Libra, I feel like you've had to make some swift decisions in the past. Um, I feel like you've maybe had situations in your life where you were put on the spot and had to kind of make a, a decision that was affecting your life, but this happened very quickly, okay? I do get the sense that now in the present moment you you've kind of found a balance in your life you've come into a routine you're getting to know yourself better when you are secure in your surroundings it's like Maslow's hierarchy um, something that you should look into but people when their basic needs aren't met they have different fear factors and different um, situations that arise in their mind. And then when they move on to where all their needs are being met, they're able to accomplish more things, focus on goals, even do things um, to create a better future for themselves. But I feel like in the past, at times your needs were met. But at times they weren't always, you know, your basic needs weren't always being met. I feel like this decision that you had to make, even though I feel like it wasn't something that you truly wanted, it's what you truly needed, okay? I do get the sense that With the number six being prominent so far in the reading, it's telling me that you've had to make a lot of self-sacrifices to get to the point where you are right now, but it's brought in harmony, okay? I feel like now you're able to focus on your passion and you're kind of micro-focusing right now on your future. Um, if you look at this card, the page is kind of looking at the end of that wand, even focusing kind of on that 
branch and it's kind of like you're micro focusing on everything that you truly want that you truly desire and you're not settling for anything less anymore okay now for your partner past present future I feel like your partner or the person that you're envisioning in the past has been very greedy very worried they're worried about money but maybe even weren't wasn't able to manage money properly and was always just thinking about their coins their pockets okay now with the king of cups as the next step down you see the king of pentacles is in reversed now we have the king of cups in the upright position Okay, so I feel like what this is symbolizing is this person has come into a, a position where they're more grounded. They maybe haven't gained or lost any maturity level, but they've just, they've become more emotionally intelligent, more in tune with their self. They've become more grounded. They've let some things go. I feel like they've probably realized that living the lifestyle they were wasn't for their highest good. I feel like they can see that they were being greedy and even if you're supposed to be coming into a lot of money, your mindset can have a big impact on what manifests into your life. So I feel like this person may be realizing that as well. They're more intuitive they're being able to see the bigger picture. Now, as far as relationships, I feel like this person is kind of defensive. Um, they kind of have their guard up. They maybe have gone through a lot of tough times in relationships, and they're just really still trying to figure themselves out. Coming out of It's like recalibrating your whole mindset. When you're coming out of a position where you were money focused, money minded, and really greedy to come to a more emotional state, that's a big shift. And it's going to take a lot out of a person, but this person might not even seem like the same person after they've gone through this shift. Now they may have already gone through the shift, I feel like they're kind of in the middle. They're in limbo right now. Even though that card hasn't popped up, the hangman or the hermit, they're in limbo. Now, with the moon card here and the page of swords, okay? I feel like you are conflicted, you are confused about which way you should move forward, okay? And I feel like this was not a past reading, um, the weekend guidance or maybe even the monthly message. The Page of Swords symbolizes <clears throat> making a decision and sticking with it, but communicating this decision, okay? I feel like you're going to have some communication with this person about where you stand and how to move forward. There may be messages coming in from your dreams about the situation. But I definitely feel like There's a sense of facing your past fears. So you you may have that conversation like, what's holding you back? Like, why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we together? I see you over here. You're talking to other people like your friends too. I'm ready to make a commitment to you. What's going on? Remember, the overall energy is the six of wands. This symbolizes recognition. I 
I feel like this person is kind of standoffish because of what they've been through in the past. So you're going to have to kind of guide them, kind of lead them. Lead them in the direction they need to go. There is a lot of fire energy. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign. You could also be dealing with an air sign. But you are an air sign, Libra. So that could be that. So, the cards that came out, that flew out, were those four cards from the Psychic Tarot. Emotional loss and firm foundation. I feel like with these two cards being the first cards that came out, Libra, this person has had a lot of emotional loss in their life. They've lost a lot of things that they maybe thought were going to be secure in their life, okay? So they just want to see something more solid, more stable, okay? I don't feel like by any means it has anything to do with you. I feel like it is them. It It's more... They're, they want to see certain characteristics before they move forward, okay? universe, partnerships, and alliances. I do get the sense that you guys will be having some type of partnership, whether it's a friendship or a relationship. There is a partnership within the midst. Understand that it is faded. The universe is at work here. That card is the world card. So it ultimately symbolizes success, but it symbolizes completion of a cycle, um, faded events, a, a broader understanding of what they've gone through and how this is directing them into their future, okay? Okay. Have this conversation, have some communication with this person. Um, even if you may have had this conversation before, what's the worst that could happen? They could say no. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. So that is the message I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.